everyone, this is always Apple FGD and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass the iCloud lock on any Checkmate compatible device running on iOS 12.0 to 14.8.1. Now as always, there's a few pros and cons about this bypass. The only con that comes to mind is that when you complete this bypass, the cellular functionality of your device will not work. This means that you will not be able to make any calls or use any cellular related apps. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functions will work perfectly though, so you can still use Safari and other apps that require Wi-Fi, but any cellular functionality will not work. And as for the pros for this bypass, this bypass is completely untethered, which means that if you reboot your device or it shuts off for any reason or the battery dies, when you boot your device back up, it will still be completely bypassed. Another pro about this bypass is that it's completely free. And last of all, in my opinion, it's pretty easy to do. But of course, as always, if you have any questions or something didn't go quite right, feel free to leave a comment down below. So enough said, let's get started. There are two main things you will need to download or install on your computer. The first thing we will download is the tool we will use to jailbreak the device. This is an important step to allow the bypass tool to be able to complete the bypass. The tool is called CheckRain, and you can just download it by opening up your web browser. And make sure you're on a new tab and type checkra.in. So basically there's a dot between ra and in for rain. Once you've got that typed in, go ahead and load up the website. Then click this Get the Beta Now button and finally download for macOS. Now you can see here we are downloading the CheckRain DMG file and look at that, it already downloaded. Great. Next, we will go to the Bypass Tool website. Now the tool is called FearRain and it's actually spelled kind of funny because the E in Fear is the number three and the I in Rain is a one. So the website is just new tab F three A R R A one N dot com, which I think is pretty easy to remember. So go ahead and load up the website and then scroll down to this button where it says Mac OS and then copy this whole command here. You can hit Command C on your keyboard to copy the command. Now you can just minimize your web browser or close it if you prefer. Next, you'll need to open up a new terminal window. This can be done very easily by just going to your launch pad, opening the other folder and launching terminal. If the window opens up with a bunch of text, I would just recommend opening up a new blank window. You can do this by either pressing Command N on your keyboard or by going to the shell menu at the top here and selecting New Window. Once you've got the terminal window open, just press Command V on your keyboard to paste the command that we copied into the terminal window. Now press Enter. You will see that it will ask you to enter a password. This is the password that you use to log into your Mac. Now I know that some people might think this is really sketchy and that a hacker could get you a password from this. But interestingly enough, it's actually just the Mac asking you to provide your password to confirm you want to install. In other words, it's Apple making you confirm, not the script we are running. So just enter your Mac login password. And it won't show anything here, but don't worry, it's still typing in. And you can see I just entered my password and finally press enter. So now you can see that the script is installing FearRain on your computer. Now, while the script goes through the installation process, we can install CheckRain and jailbreak our device. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to open up the DMG file that we downloaded earlier from checkra.in. So obviously you can find that in your downloads. I'm gonna open up a new finder window and you can do this by pressing Command N on your keyboard once you've clicked out of terminal or by going to the file menu and selecting new finder window. Now I'm just going to go to my downloads and then I'm going to double click on the CheckRain beta 0.12.4.dmg file. 
Now, once the DMG file has mounted, you can see the Checkrain app right here. So I'm going to open it. And I didn't get the message this time, but you actually should get a message that says unidentified developer. And when you do see that message, it's actually super easy to fix. So when you get that message, if you do just select OK, and then instead of double clicking on the app to open it, right click on the app and select open. And when you get this pop up, just click on open. And there we are inside the tool. Next, make sure that your device is connected to the computer. You should have done this already. Now, if you are on iOS 14.6 or later, you will see this message that says your device is supported, but the iOS version is not. This is a very easy fix. Just click on the Options button and check these two things. The first one is Allow Untested Versions of iOS, iPad OS, and tvOS. And then finally select Skip A11 BPR Check. And hit Back, and you can see now the Start button has enabled. When you click on it, Depending on if you had to follow the steps, you may see a pop-up like this. It says, warning, would you like to continue? Just click on OK, and you will be taken to this page. But if you were on iOS 14.5.1 or earlier, you don't need to follow these steps that I just explained. In fact, I would recommend that you don't follow the steps if you don't need to. Next, CheckRain will put your device into recovery mode. Just click on that Next button at the bottom and watch. The device is entering recovery mode now. And there we go, we're in. Once you're in recovery mode, you will see that Checkmate is now asking us to enter DFU mode. Now I'm gonna show you how to enter DFU mode right now. There are actually lots of different ways of entering DFU mode depending on the device you're using. I will be showing the method that works on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Most people will probably be using an iPhone 6S or earlier, but this iPhone 7 happens to be on a rare unsigned iOS version, like iOS 14. Also, most people will likely not have an iPhone 8 or later on iOS 14 below, so it's not likely that most people will need to do this. But if you have an iPhone 8, or of course 8 Plus, or an X, you can just Google how to enter DFU mode on iPhone and then your iPhone model. Now for the models that I just mentioned, which again were the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, all you need to do is just press and hold the power button and volume down button until you see the screen go black, and then just simply release the power button but keep holding the volume down button for about 10 longer seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Press and hold the power button and volume down button until you see the screen go black. There we go, it went black, so I'm going to release the power button. And we're going to wait. And it looks like we failed. So I didn't mention this, but if you do see the Apple logo, it means you failed. And the process for entering DFU mode is actually exactly the same as if you're on the Apple logo, if you're in recovery mode, just to put that in there. So we're going to hold the volume down button and power button until the screen goes black. There we go. Release the power button. Keep holding the volume down button for about 10 longer seconds. I'm just going to wait a little bit. And there we go. Oh, and I also actually didn't mention this either, but you should get a pop-up on your computer saying that you, it has detected an iPhone and recovered your DFU mode. It doesn't matter what it says. You've entered DFU mode successfully. So just ignore that pop-up. It's no big deal. Just close the window. And then we're going to go back to check rain. If you see... Oh, we missed it. It was a little bit quick. It said device entered DFU mode successfully. And now you can see here we have a nice progress bar here for the jailbreak process. And in just a moment here, you see we have an Apple logo with the CheckRain logo over there, over the Apple logo, and some verbose text. And probably almost there, I felt the charging vibration, and we're back at the hello screen. All right, so the jailbreak process is completed successfully, as you can see. So now you can just close CheckRain. And I'm just going to eject the DMG file. Where is it? There it is, up at the top. And you can see now as well, when you look back at the terminal window, it says installation is complete, or install is complete. And it's in a different language as well. So we can close the terminal window, because we are done with installation. And we are going to launch the Fiorain Start 
file on your desktop. Now, in some cases, it might say view in start dot command, but I have extensions turned off for whatever reason. So I'm just going to double click on this. You can see here we have the view in logo in the text, which I always thought was really clever, like the F with the apple. You can see it says working. And it may open up this link. This is just their Discord server. You obviously want to close that. That's easy, and you can minimize or close your web browser. And here you can see we have these pop-ups. Please join the Discord server. That's okay. You can just ignore them. And we have a notice about credits and if you can pay that. But there's a paid version of Fiorain, but we're just going to be using the free ones. You can click OK, and you will end up here. This is the tool. Here we are inside Fiorain. So from here, all you need to do is just make sure you're on this button that says process using checkway in iOS 12 to 14, not the DFU one, because the DFU one is the paid version of Fiorain. And finally, all you need to do is just bring up the terminal window so you can see the process. I'm going to drag it over here and click on connect device. You can see it says waiting SSH. It's going to connect to our device. And here you can see the button changes to reconnect device. And here it says 100%. So we are good with that. Finally, all you have to do is just click on the hello free button over here. You will likely see this pop up here and it's telling you that you must have an account and it's fast and free. So we're just going to click on OK and then all you need to do is just register for viewing. This does not require any credit card or any secret password or anything. All you need to do is just enter an email your email, and if you don't feel comfortable, enter your personal email. You can easily create just a free Gmail account or iCloud or whatever. It can be any email, Gmail, iCloud, Outlook. So because I already have a Fiorin account, I'm going to enter my email that I've registered with Fiorin and my password. But the process is really simple. If you don't, just enter the email you want to use and the password and click on register instead of login. And you can see that it will then say now log in. So then you, the credentials will still be in the text field and just click on login and it will say that a verification code was sent to the email that you used. So then just check that email and you can copy and paste the code into the, there will be a new field here that will say verification code or whatever and just paste it into there and then finish verifying your account and then you will now have a Fiorin account. So it's pretty simple, just like any other verification system. So I'm gonna enter my Fiorin login, like I said. All right, and then log in. And when you log in for the first time, it will ask you save data for automatic login. I would recommend doing this. That way you won't have to log in every time manually. Hit yes. And here it is, user login, and I've got my ID and everything there. So the next thing all you're going to need to do is just click on hello free again, and it should work. But I'm actually going to need to reconnect my device. You shouldn't have to do this. If you do, then you can just repeat the process with connecting the device, which was just clicking the button. But the reason I'm having to do this is because I actually restarted the tool off camera to enter one of the credentials just to test something out. So I'm going to click connect device. But obviously you shouldn't have to do this. And we are connected. We connect device and then reselect hello free. And here you will see this. Please do everything. Make sure it will work fine. Connect the device to Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I'm already connected to Wi-Fi. It's not going to show it, but I have my Wi-Fi up there. And reach the activation lock. It should ask for the account. So we're going to reach activation lock. Here we are. And when you're done with that, press OK. Clicking OK. And it's hard to see because it all says the same thing, but it's scrolling up. It says working. You can see here the device is respringing. This is completely normal in this bypass. It will do this a few times. Here it says wait 20 seconds. I think I'll fast forward this process. Oh, and I wanted to mention this is pretty cool, but normally how it says hello here, it cycles through the Fuin slogans and things. So here it says Fuin instead of hello, right to repair. I really like that actually. Use the tool yourself. So they've basically changed the hello screen to have the name of their tool instead of the normal hello. You can see it respring again. Oh, also one thing to note that's pretty cool is you can see at the top here it says Fear Rain Free, where normally with a cellular carrier would be. 
And that's actually part of why the cellular functionality doesn't work is because the tool messes with the iPhone's cellular functionality in that when it puts that up there. Because, you know, as you know, the iPhone's not meant to say a custom name up there. So it's changing the, I don't know if it's the baseband or stuff to do with the SIM card. Okay, so here it's activated successfully. It says activated, enjoy your device. And remember to join the Discord server. And it says you're using the free version. If you want full stuff, you can pay for it. So I'm going to click on OK. And now let's set up our device. So it's going to be the same, the setup process, but we should have skipped right over the activation lock. Let's take a look. And boom, look at that. There was no iCloud lock at all. So I'm going to set up my device. And you shouldn't get the failed Touch ID. I just put a replacement screen on this phone. So I'm going to not use Touch ID. And normally you wouldn't want to set a passcode on your device if it was a tethered bypass, because then when the device booted up and you tried to re-bypass it, in some cases, it wouldn't be able to access the device due to the passcode. But in this case, you're free to set a passcode because the device will not need to be accessed by a computer every time it boots up. But I'm going to skip it anyways. The home button happening doesn't work for me because the home button isn't clickable because it's a replacement screen, so I can skip that. And wow, there we are in the apps. Look at that. And you can see here we also have the checker and loader, and you can install City if you wanted to. And last but not least, I want to show you that if I reboot my device, it's still bypassed. So I'm going to shut down my device. Wait a few seconds for it to shut off. Let's see. I'm going to boot it back up. Fast forward this process. And boom, look at that. There we are right on the home screen again. This is not a tethered bypass, completely untethered, fully bypassed. Now here you can see the iPhone is reminding us about the cellular and because it has to be updated. We know that already though. So that's it for this tutorial. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and got your device unlocked. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. That's it for now, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.